Good morning, everybody. This is Joe Cusick, Vice President of Wealth and Asset Management from Money Block and Trading Block, here with your Expiration Friday Traders exclusive. Uh, the major indices, they remain in corrective mode this morning, uh, but two of the four uh, are close to breaking their long term support levels. Uh, the challenge with corrections, though, is, is we never know which will evolve into a bigger type of downtrend. Uh, that's what we're going to have to keep an eye on. So when you look at basically the charts, which are basically what we're going to have to look at as far as uh, understanding support and resistance, if you look at the NASDAQ and the S&Ps, the S&Ps, they hit new highs in mid-July, right? Uh, and then they fell for the last four weeks. So this means that we have multi-month highs and a downtrend that's short-term uh, for the last four weeks. Uh, we've also seen uh, from a high to a correction low on the NASDAQ. As a matter of fact, we're seeing NASDAQ stocks like Apple being the most notable one, uh, really under some pressure this morning. Um, and so what we want to do is we want to measure this and kind of get some context here, some scope. And right now you see that uh, as far as the NASDAQ's concerned, it's fallen less than 6%. The spiders have fallen, or excuse me, the S&Ps, if we're looking at the spiders, the ETF, they've fallen less than 4%. So, you know, while these declines are noticeable since we've had such a strong uptrend and this consolidation uh, that's been around for the last couple months, it hardly qualifies for a bear market. I'm gonna move resistance down on those two major indices on the NASDAQ and the S&Ps. On the NASDAQ, if you're taking a look at the Qs, we're going to move that, that resistance level, that bar that I want to see beat or uh, get above to see if the bulls get some more track, get back into control at around 112. And on the S&Ps, we're going to take a look at the spiders. The spiders got to get over that 211 mark if, in fact, the bulls are going to take over control. Now, just switching over here to look, taking a look at the bond complex here at the CME, uh, the bond market has been on a wild ride lately. And it's because of this off again, on again, are they going to raise rates? Are they not going to raise rates in September? I guess, you know, really when I look at this, should we really be that concerned about a move basically from zero to 25 basis points? I mean, let's put this in context. You're going from zero to just barely off of zero. Uh, it's not like we're moving from, let's say, 4% to 4.5%. Um, so the bottom line is, is that when you look at uh, what's going on in the markets, the bonds right now have caught a bid, uh, and that's because of the uncertainty in the equities, what's going on globally over in China and the emerging markets as well as Europe. But at the end of the day, uh, I think that the bonds are going to start coming under some pressure again, but we're going to keep an eye on that. And specifically, while this short-term uptrend is still in play, uh, we want to see if it's going to have some base set in. In fact, if the markets are going to get uglier, if you take a look at the bond ETF TLT, which takes into consideration the 10-year and the 30-year, it's a, 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 a merge of those two. Uh, basically, you want to see one, the 120 level on TLT hold. Uh, if that holds, then in fact the bears could be in a lot more control than uh, we've seen uh, so far in the last, let's say, even couple of years. Well, that's it for today on this Expiration Friday. This is Joe Cusick, Vice President of Wealth and Asset Management from Money Block and Training Block, with your Traders Exclusive, wishing you a great weekend. See you next week.